Uh, hi, yeah, I'm Simon Bedford. I'm the executive producer of Poetry Law. Executive producer of Poetry Law, brilliant. Uh, and what panel session have you been in uh, this morning? Uh, this morning I went to a panel session on the artist and fundraising. And uh, sort of we were chatting uh, just before I decided that I should put the camera on you. Uh, and you were sort of um, expressing a small frustration in how the conversation on fundraising doesn't seem to change very much or hasn't recently. Yeah, I think there's a. I think we the, the same points come up up again about how we can get better at fundraising. I think it's a real challenge, particularly from our point of view as a small organisation, how we move beyond the obvious challenge, which is time and capacity to actually make you know to make applications or to do the research that's necessary. And actually, it's how we as an organisation think more creatively. So I'm not always frustrated by those challenges, but actually thinking about what other resources that we have or what are we doing creatively as artistic projects that could actually generate income from other sources and not necessarily fight that battle of the kind of ever decreasing amount of money from individuals or from trusted foundations yes. and the arts and so And I suppose like the, the classical solution to we don't have enough resources in the arts is normally to collaborate with someone else who does but in a fundraising sort of sense you're pitted against each other aren't you? Yeah and I think Collaboration in, within fundraising is a challenging idea, but I think I think we do need to find those ways that maybe we you know, we are definitely stronger together. And how can we find like-minded organisations that we can kind of come together and, and gather pots of money together? Perhaps I mean it's a it's a challenging area, and I you know I have no idea what the answer to that is. But I think it is about having those conversations with other people and finding those common grounds and finding ways of supporting each other. And were there any main things that sort of came out of the panel session that particularly interested or annoyed you? Or? Uh, I mean, it was interesting talking, there was kind of a conversation about getting feedback from, from trusts and foundations. Often it's the case that you put an application in but you don't really get much information back if it's unsuccessful as to why you've been unsuccessful. And I think particularly from a small organisation with limited resources, making a limited amount of applications actually to make the applications that you do stronger and more effective, having that feedback mechanism is really important rather than just saying we're really sorry and I know that's a challenge to go out there to those trusted foundations who you know obviously are in a sense swamped by applications but actually maybe they could reduce the amount of applications they receive if they shared more effectively what they're after and fed back more effectively as well. Yeah brilliant thanks ever so much. Thank you.